Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome to another episode of Reddit Am I the A-Hole Crochet Edition. Now honestly, I did not know if I was going to be able to film today because my Reddit was having issues. Was that anybody else's? Anytime I tried to get on, it just pulled up an error and I was not able to access it. So yeah. I finally, I've been periodically checking checking it, but finally it was able to come on and here we are. So as always, the opinions that I give are strictly my own. I am reading these blind. I'm just picking at random something that seems a little bit interesting, if you will. I'm not sure how much more of these I can do considering so many of them are the same ones that I've already done that I see on here. I don't know. Maybe people just don't post very much, but I will try to keep going because these are fun. I enjoy doing them. I will, as I go into each story, post the original poster's name so that if you want to, you can follow their page. However, if there's anything negative that is said about them, you know, like, or if you think that they are the a-hole, or Reddit thinks that they are the a-hole, don't go to their page and be mean. I mean, that's just, I don't want that. That's just wrong. And I would never do that. I'm just reading these for fun. And without further ado, let's find our first story. And just as a reminder, I will, depending on how long they are, I will do two to four. Uh, my so far, my top number has been three. <laughs> so, but depending on how long the stories are, I will try to do at least three. But I have done two, I think. Anyways, let's not get, <laughs> let's not just ramble. So this one was posted three months ago. And the tag is, or title is, Am I the A-hole for not finishing a crochet pattern test on time? And it doesn't give an, an indication whether or not Reddit has dubbed thee the a-hole or not. It just says discussion. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've never done test patterns, so I don't know how that works. I would think that you would want to get it done on time. This is just from the title alone, not knowing anything about the story. Um, but I do understand that things happen. But yeah, you really need to get it done on time as, I mean, because they need to get the pattern out so that it can be done uh, or sold or whatever. So I would think, yes, you need to get it done on time. So in that instance, I would say yes. However, let's go ahead and read the story. It says, from the title, you probably immediately say yes. Uh-huh. But please hear me out. I need more opinions on this matter. I was chosen for a pattern test on Saturday. They sent everyone the pattern Saturday evening and said we had five days to finish. I didn't see that I was chosen for the test until Sunday afternoon. Normally with pattern tests on Instagram, they either PM you or make a post about it, etc. I didn't see a PM and I definitely don't recall seeing a story post with all the chosen testers. It was just a group chat that popped up in my inbox saying I got chosen. Since I saw it on Sunday, not Saturday, I thought the deadline was Friday. On Thursday, they sent a text in the group chat. <laughs> uh -huh. As a reminder, but I did not see it and they didn't message me privately to make sure I'd seen it or anything. Fast forward to Friday, I see I'm removed from the group chat and I was unfollowed. I messaged them apologizing on the mix up on my end, but all in all, in all they were just rude about the whole situation. I had the photos and the item was done. I just hadn't sent it in the group chat. So am I the a-hole? Quick uh, frequently asked question there was not a release date for the pattern yet they weren't going to release the day the testers were finished it won't be released for a few days let me see if I can read 
there was not a release date for the pattern yet they weren't going to release the day the testers were finished it won't be released for a few days not sure okay so are you the a-hole well you didn't get the information until the day after however you should have noticed that it was sent the day prior so you should would then realize or should have then realized that you only had four days and not five days to finish. As far as the way they handled it, by not making sure that you got the correct information, I mean, that's kind of, that's on them, I would say. And just removing you from the group chat and unfollowing you was a little rude or it seems to be a little rude and kind of hasty like life happens <laughs> so I don't know um I can't say who's who's at fault and who is the real a-hole but let's see so the first person commented sounds like a misunderstanding to me which that is definitely true you didn't miss the deadline on purpose which we figured out. You could have noticed that the initial message was sent earlier, but I don't think you're an a-hole for missing that detail. True. Especially if they didn't write a date for the deadline. It doesn't justify the immediate unfollow, in my opinion. Exactly. Exactly. On the other hand, only five days to complete the test is insane. I wouldn't know. It, I guess it would depend on the kind of project. Maybe I'm just a slow crocheter, but unless you don't have any responsibilities like word, work, kids, it sounds impossible to meet the deadline. As a tester, you're doing the pattern maker a favor. Very true. And you basically provided them free labor. Also true. <laughs> the least they can do is give a reasonable deadline. Okay, I see that. I told it. I'm assuming it is probably something fairly small, but we don't know. And okay, so the original poster came back and answered that question and said the pattern was a quick no so seal. Oh, it was a seal. And it didn't take no more than 45 minutes to make. My only thing is I wish they would have sent me a private personal message and not message in the group chat. And the five days can be confusing. It, is it five days after you receive the pattern or is it five days including the day you receive the pattern? I sent them the finished photos at 3 p.m. since I wasn't sure if they wanted them still and they removed and they removed my me from the group chat at 1 p.m. and then responded to the photos and my apology at 1 a.m. and said thank you but I have enough photos from the other testers. Have a nice day. Oh my goodness. They were kind of rude. And I mean, yeah, that could be totally overlooked, the actual date. So, and not giving an, a date, just saying in five days. Okay. I am notorious for not checking my emails or messages and I won't see them for days later. You know, so if I were to read that and see five days and if I didn't pay attention to when it was actually sent, I would think five days from when I saw it. So I totally, totally am on this person's side. And someone underneath the original poster's comment said, this person who requested it sounds like the a-hole here. I've worked with people like this and don't worry, they will be out of business shortly. True colors are hard to hide. Very true. <laughs> so someone else said five days. I asked for feedback within a month and I make sure to have the have that in the testing call so everyone's aware of the time frame I'm looking for. I've only ever had two people not complete the test before the deadline. One of them apologized and said they would get it in the next day or the next few days and one never responded at it it was a little annoying because it pushed my pattern launch out while i tried to find a replacement as they were both testing the same pattern and it meant only one tester had completed it 
by the deadline, which isn't enough. But I also am mindful that literally anything could have happened in their life that meant they couldn't do it. I learned to just have extra testers do it so that one, if one or two don't do it, it doesn't matter. That's a very good call. Um, the way the the person who designed the pattern does seem a bit rude considering the way they responded with thank you but I have enough photos with the other testers have a nice day like I mean I guess it could be read as thank you but I have enough photos from the other testers so have a nice day it just is dependent on how you read it because you can't see emotion in text or in writing so we don't know how that person was but yeah te technically five days is a quick turnaround i'm assuming someone else said um nah they gave you five days which is not cool they're not paying for paying you for it and they get advertising for their patterns when you post it very true so so far not the a-hole nope that was a a easy miss considering you are not glued to your phone all the time you can miss a message easily that like I was saying also I remember the post on reddit it was posted on a Thursday deadline the same Sunday for applications or yeah and only five days to make the project the time was very very short they should have should have been more flexible so I am seeing that Reddit is dubbing the not the a-hole and I agree uh, such a short time frame for a to test a pattern I mean so many things can go wrong um, and your life is not dictated by doing this pattern your life is dictated by everything else you're doing this pattern as a favor to the designer to make sure that it works and is easy to read and your life does not revolve around them. So yeah, definitely not the a-hole, but that was, yes, not the a-hole. All right, next one. Oh, and just as a side note, they did not post a picture, so I don't know what the seal looks like. All right, so this one is pretty interesting. It was posted two years ago. And it says, buyer through Facebook wanted to resell my crochet mushrooms at a personal store. Am I the a-hole? And this one gives a picture, a screenshot of the conversation. And it says, at the top, it says, sold crochet mushroom plushies. And then underneath, the seller says, I, I currently am making flower cushions, but do not have any photos yet. I'm sorry. I'm not sure... That must have been to something else. And then it says, by the way, were you buying these to sell them in your shop? And the person who was buying them responded, I was thinking about it. Why? And the seller responds with, I'm sorry. I should have asked first and told you that I don't want these sold anywhere else for a higher value than what I think they are worth. I also spent weeks creating the pattern and making it a functional stand-up mushroom. I appreciate your business and hope yours does well. I went ahead and refunded you through Facebook. Hmm. You know, I mean, technically, once you sell a product, whether you made it or it was manufactured, once it's in, granted, once it's in their hands, it is no longer your property and therefore they can do with it however they want. They can gift it, they can sell it, they can keep it, they can do whatever that they are intending to do when they purchase it. Now, there are some caveats to that because, you know, we see places such as Disney that gets, that people overbuy to resell on purpose to make a huge profit because Disney's products are highly sought after and so you end up paying twice as much for this item that's limited and I don't think that is fair I don't think that's right you know um, 
So I don't know. It's a, it's kind of a catch 22, you know, but technically once somebody buys something and it is in their position, they can do with it how they choose. That being said, let's see, does Reddit think that this person is the a-hole? So the first person said, you might want to up your prices if people are thinking of reselling or are already reselling at a higher price and being successful, then you've underpriced yourself. You can also limit the quantities per person. Okay, see, that kind of fits in with the Disney thing. Um, someone else said this, def definitely limit your quantities. That way, one, everyone has a chance to get one instead of them being bought out by a few people and two, it would help regulate this behavior. I also agree with upping your prices. Also, I thought you handled that interaction very well, respectful, but firm in your stance. Well done. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. And if they go and buy more, at least then they would have to wait. All right. Okay, so someone asked, is she reselling as if she made it? Do your items have your logo or what up, whatever so people would know this came from so-and-so? I'm just curious because I've never heard of someone doing this with crochet items. Me neither, but I mean. And they responded with, I could definitely start adding a logo on them and possibly just branching them out with more on other platforms. Honestly, never thought I'd have this happen, though. I am a bit worrisome now. I mainly do this for the love of mushrooms. <laughs> Aw. And someone commented with the quotes, I mainly do this for the love of mushrooms. And they said, I don't know you fellow crocheter, but I adore you. <laughs> so far, everybody's loving that I do this for the love of mu mushrooms. Um, okay. Uh, that's the comment or the... I'm a, so far it seems like everybody's saying no. Uh, someone said, if you go into a, any boutique shop that is in a touristy part of town, especially beach cities, you'll find loads of homemade items. That is definitely true. Some of them will have the maker's logo info. Some of them are completely naked. I've seen tons of yarn goodies, acrylic jewelry, resin figurines, soaps, etc. I think it just depends on how the creator personalizes their goods and how the store owner runs their shop. Some are great people that understand buying and selling locally made items, and some are kind of shady and act actually buy sweatshop level products, but pretend they are pretend they like they're from crafters. Blah. blah. <laughs> okay, see, so I don't know. I've actually seen stores letting other people rent their shelves. It's really cool. So there is that. My sister and I tried to get into doing something like that. Um, yeah. Everybody's giving solutions to the situation and they say that she handled it well. Um, there is a link to her mushrooms oh that is the cutest oh my goodness oh there we there you go i'll pop up a picture so that you can see oh they're so cute oh my goodness and i will link that link i will post that link in the description box below because that is too cute oh my goodness good for her and I, I do understand because it is not fair when somebody purchases multiple items for the sole purpose of reselling it at an astronomically stupid price. I have fallen victim of that because I was collecting the mini, uh, mini's main attraction stackable mugs and could never I think I bought two from the actual Disney store and the other 10 I bought from eBay, 
meaning somebody bought them to sell them and I paid, I guarantee, double because I want to say they were like $25 a mug and I paid like 50 plus shipping and handling and all of that. So yeah, I, I, I'm so glad that I only did it that one time. I did get, once I got the, got one, I had to get them all because I was collecting them all. But once that was done, I was like, I'm never going to do this again. If I see something and I'm able to get it right then, then I will get it. If I can get it online, then I will get it, but I will only go through said store. However, there are so many places that, I mean, that's what they do is sell um, products for other people or they buy products from people, from crafters to sell in their store and it is their right to do so. <laughs> it's such a weird and I don't know. That's really a hard one to, to say. I would think that as long as the person is getting the credit for the item, then it should be okay. But at the same time, I don't know, maybe they, they could make a deal where it's their, their shop in the store and they get a percentage for being able to have that pro those products in that store. Does that make sense? So kind of like a consignment. Anyways, I agree, not the a-hole. That's just a really tough and tricky situation. I mean, because people can, they can do whatever they want. Once it's theirs, it's, it's theirs to do with however they please. But at the same time, that's not cool, man. <laughs> You know, people should not be running around and buying up all this merch and not allowing everyone else to get it. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Do we got time for one more? All right. So this one is very new. It's 22 days old and Reddit has dubbed the not the a-hole. It says, am I the a-hole for not teaching my friend to crochet? So, I mean, I couldn't say either way just from the title. So let's go ahead and get into it. For context, I, 19 female, crochet at markets with my friend, 18 female, who makes pottery. We share a booth at our local art fair every year to save money as we are both in college. We do this every year so she knows what I make. The problem started when after this year's art fair, she came to me and asked to help her learn. At first I said yes because I don't have any other crochet friends. She seemed excited to learn so I didn't think much of it. But then she started sending me pictures of patterns she had bought to sell and at the art fair. And lo and behold, they were the same exact patterns I make for the art fair year after year. I tried to talk to her about it, and her only response was that since I'm more advanced, I'm a more advanced crocheter, I can make new stuff. According to her, she has claimed those projects for this year, and I can make some something else. Huh. I didn't actually teach her to crochet yet, so I don't know why she is trying claim patterns. She doesn't know if she even likes it yet. To wrap this up quickly, I told her I wasn't teaching her and if she wanted to learn to use YouTube. She called me a bunch of bad things I will not put here and told me I could pay for the art booth myself. Wow. Well. So the situation is they each do something crafty, just different things. One is pottery and one is crochet and they share a booth to lower, keep costs lower. And then she, the pottery person decides she wants to crochet and is wanting to crochet the exact same thing that the crocheter wants or does. And says, well, you're advanced, so you can do something else, and I'll do these. I'm going to say not the a-hole, because she's literally trying to push you out of what you do. I mean, would she do the same if you asked her 
hey, will you teach me how to do pottery? And then you show her, I'm going to do exactly what you do. And since you are the advanced one, you can do something else. Would she agree to that? I don't know. I would. I understand the sharing the booth thing, but I would definitely, for me, I would probably want to be on my own from then on out. Because, I mean, she's basically wanting to steal your products, probably because they're already known to be good sellers. So she wants to do the, take the easy rate, easy route and have something that's already established. And especially having two people, I mean, you can't do the same thing at the same table. So yeah, I would say, ooh, I don't know where that came from. I would say not the a-hole. But as we know, Reddit already said, not the a-hole. So let's see what Reddit said. Not the a-hole, this is some entitlement. Yeah, I'm going to learn your hobby and make exactly what you make for the exact event you use to make yourself a little money everywhere. And you're going to teach me to do it, right? Sheesh, with friends like that, who needs enemies? Right? Exactly. I mean, she, I don't see her wanting, offering to say, to teach you how to do pottery uh, so that you could do the same thing. Uh, someone else, not the a-hole, your friend is a bad friend. Try asking her to teach you pottery as you want to make the same stuff as her for the fair. See how she reacts. Exactly. Literally, she, this person took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Uh, not the a-hole. Sounds like you need a private booth. Sorry it went down this way. I agree. Definitely. Not the a-hole. She stopped being your friend the moment she decided to steal your business. Very uncool. Um, uh, last one. Not the a-hole. So your friend asked you to teach her how to make your best-selling items so she can directly compete with you while paying half the, her booth rent. Is that correct? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yes, definitely not the a-hole. Alrighty. Let's see. Do you think we can do one more? What did we do? We did three? Nah, I'm going to go ahead and do our last thing, which is something cute. We already saw the uh, mushrooms from the, um, the second Reddit, or the second one, but I am going to post something else as something cute. All right, and boy, did I find something cute. Look at these adorable little T-Rexes. Well, T-Rex, this adorable little T-Rex. It is so cute, and I love the little bag that goes with it. Oh my goodness. Let's see, it's so cute. Is the pattern for the purse included, or is that a separate pattern? Oh, I added details, thorns on the body and bag, and a bag, okay. And if I can, okay, so if I can find the link to the actual pattern for the T-Rex, we found out, somebody said, this is too cute, do you have a pattern? And the original poster said, thank you, it's Timmy the T-Rex by Kelsey Leggett. Liggett? And I will definitely put that in the description box below if I can find it, but that is just adorable. I love it. That's so cute. All right. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed it. I, I'm surprised I found some, found completely different things. Uh, I'm going to try and look for new stuff all the time if I can. Uh, that way I know that it's not going to be the same thing as, you know, what seems to be all the time and uh, yeah if you did like it I would love it if you would hit the like button and if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell I really enjoyed today's video I'm glad I was able to get it done I was worried because I didn't think I was gonna be able to get into my reddit but with that remember gravity works guys